Where the rest of my clothes? I'll find them. Just get out. Where? Out the window. What? Marley. No petals. There's no flaws. It's perfect. Oh, John. Just like you. The truth hit her like a thunderbolt. I spent days looking for just the right one. Finally found it. For John, this was no longer a meaningless little affair. Gabrielle could now clearly see he was falling in love with her. It's just beautiful. <laughs> sakes, Carlos. It's Yao Lin's. Our maid wears size 13 gym socks? No, she dusts with them. <sighs> See? Socks instead of rags. For God's sakes, Bree, you're a woman. Manipulate them. That's what we do. But how? I don't know. How did you usually manipulate Rex? to be renegotiated. Well, we're not negotiating my uterus. You call this a paint job? I don't want to see it again until it's perfect! poor at this stage of my life. You know, Carlos, I've been broke a lot of times in my life. But I've never been poor. Because poor is just a state of mind. And right now, you and I are just... <sighs> Without funds? Exactly. God, I have to go to the bathroom again. Go to Breeze. Been to Breeze twice today. Then go to Susan's. I hate Susan's. She has all these weird scented candles. Her house reeks of apricot. Hose. How about oh. Lynette's? No, you don't understand. I don't want to go to anybody's house anymore. I'm tired of knocking on doors and making up excuses as to why we haven't fixed our plumbing. Why are you yelling at me? Because it's your fault. My fault? Yes. If you hadn't gotten yourself indicted, we would have pipes right now. I got indicted trying to make enough money to keep you happy. In case you hadn't noticed, you're a little materialistic. Oh, I'm materialistic? When the Johnsons bought their new 7 Series, you were the one who went right in and traded in his car for something better. Who ended up driving it? You know what? I don't have time to fight right now. I have laundry to do. Told anyone else about this? No, but I could. Hey, isn't that why the prosecution didn't have a case against you? They couldn't find the profits you made. So if I were you, Carlos, I wouldn't mention the words divorce, trust, postnup ever again. You don't want to piss me off. I know, baby. It hurts to lose. Oh, I think you are. Because if you don't, I will divorce you. 
Then I'll go to the police. And tell them what? That there's a secret bank account in the Cayman Islands that no longer exists? You move the money? Of course I move the money. <laughs> well, that was risky. I mean, the feds are watching you right now. I had to do something. I couldn't just let you make a fool out of me. I know, baby. It hurts to lose. Well, what other options do you have? Unless you return the shoes and get the money back. Return the shoes? I can't talk to you when you're being hysterical. So, ma'am. so obviously tampered with, Gabrielle's nausea was suddenly replaced by an even stronger sensation. Rage. Son of a bitch! I am pregnant and it's all your fault! Are you okay? I think I can honestly say no, I'm not. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But you know what they say about kids? That you can't imagine having them until you do, and then you can't imagine life without them? It's true. All I'm saying is maybe this is a blessing in disguise. I don't know who the father is. What? I feel a wave of morning sickness coming on, and I want to be standing on your mother's grave when it hits. Why'd you hit the lawn, boy? Oh. Well, if you saw what he did to our Pagonias, you'd slap him, too. See, our health insurance sent us a letter because someone ordered a year's worth of my birth control pills. And apparently our policy doesn't cover drugs bought by the Kilo. I told you it was Mama. The prescription was dated, Carlos, and Juanita was in a coma when this claim was filed. You did this, not your mother. At least be man enough to own up to it. She would have been. Pregnant, caveman, remember? Where are you going? Away. I'm going to jail. Hey, I'll be gone tomorrow. I know. That's why I only packed one bag. What about the baby, Gabrielle? Huh? What about my baby? Oh, your baby? Fine, our baby. Hey, we're a family now. This baby needs its mother and its father. Oh, Carlos. Whoever said you were the father? And, and before Carlos's house arrest, he was always working and he was never with me. And I thought that maybe if he believed I was having an affair, he would realize he loved me. And I know it sounds stupid, I do, I just... Is there a point to this? My point is that Carlos is an angry, jealous Neanderthal. But he's not a gay basher. But he's not a gay basher. <laughs> 